YouTubers, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone and today we got a real treat for you. Look at this Pelican case. This is a Pelican case is the best and rugged enough for gorillas to jump on and for airlines to handle and all this kind of thing. We're, we're gonna let Mike tell you all about it. Alright, the, uh, the Pelican case is not only protects your weapon but it is uh, also um, desired by uh, police agencies worldwide because uh, it uh, it locks so well that uh, they feel that your your weapon is always under control. And there's two uh, locking mechanisms if you want it. You can put two padlocks on this, and then there's four uh, secure snaps. And so this is this is considered the gold standard case. So uh, I've been very privileged to have this. Now we're going to open the case, and in here is a, a, a California Legal uh, M4. And you'll notice here, here's the, here's the strap, here's the weapon. Tactical uh, sling. Uh, tactical sling. Uh, I don't ever carry a magazine uh, with me, and there's never any bullets uh, in the case, just to ensure the, the legality uh, of the weapon. Um, this is a of course a 223 it's uh, very similar to to military grade but it's legal in California because of the muzzle which has it is a California legal muzzle uh, we only have the 10 round magazine which is also a restriction here in California although I don't have one with me and of course you see it's unloaded and it has a bullet button and uh, the bullet button is also another requirement here in California. So this is a completely, uh, call it street legal, California legal uh, M4. I think we call that thing the infernal magazine button. There you go. And as you'll see right here, uh, it has it has a rest. Uh, those are very good for for corners. Uh, that's um, I I also have a a straight uh, pole handle that I can put on it but the new military grep actually uses the magazine so the magazine of course would come down here and when you grip it you actually grip it depending right or left hand you you grip the weapon now versus the old-fashioned uh, way of gripping it uh, here on the front rest but you'd grip it here and then of course uh, with the with the uh, handle and so. it's kind of a nice place to put your grip to, to put your hand here absolutely and you wrap your you kind of actually uh, wrap your arms around the weapon and it's very steady it's a, a lightweight uh, weapon it's uh, semi-automatic of course and it is very accurate um, this is a this is a tested weapon and of course we've broken it in and it is it is very accurate do you ever find that when you open the case that the the rifle has shifted position no not at all uh, that's one good thing you might notice here on this pelican case that we have an upper layer of foam and a lower layer of foam and they're actually they actually squeeze like a clamshell the weapon together and it protects both the you see that we have a scope here and um, we also have the the weapon lying and when the and the um, this is a just a a, a cleaning uh, case that I have with it and it it really uh, it keeps it snug and you can drop this thing uh, it actually floats it, it water seals so even if it dropped um, as they say out of a helicopter into a river uh, nothing would happen to the weapon so that, that is a fine tactical scope so if you like we can actually lift the weapon out uh, you can see I don't know if your viewers can see this but it's a Franklin Armory um, it was purchased uh, directly from them. Uh, this one is stamped Morgan Hill, uh, California. Uh, we've got a P-series scope mounted on the rail here, so you see how the rail mounting is. Uh, this is a P-223. It's a Nikon, which is a uh, standard uh, well-known brand around the world for all kinds of optics, cameras, and, and other kinds of optics. And you can see that, that we have the, the uh, dorsal and also the lateral adjustment on the, on the uh, scope. So it, uh, it's very easy, it's, it's very user friendly, it's very quick. And you can see here the uh, P223 uh, Precision Air Optic. Very nice. And of course the other features of any kind of these kind of what we call AR series 
sorry, dust. I'm, <laughs> I'm particular about dust. Uh, we do clean it every time we use it, of course, uh, using the bore rod. We clean it right out. Uh, I'd like to, to point out to the, uh, to the viewers the bullet button, which uh, makes it California legal. And uh, now what that means is you cannot just press that. You cannot. You've got no. to use a special little tool to go in there. That's right. You have to use a special tool. So it's not it's not a quick release magazine. You actually have to, to monkey with it to get the uh, to get the magazine out. But uh, that's the way they require it here, and so uh, we use that's the way we do it. Have you ever had to use the forward assist? No. Um, just uh, the, this thing beautifully ejects. Uh, you can see how clean this is. You can see it's a new rifle. We haven't used it that much. But um, we put uh, quite a bit of steel down range. Extremely accurate, easy to use, never jams. Uh, the scope is easy, uh, lines up beautifully. Now, the, the barrel, what, what uh, anything special about the barrel? No, no, it's your standard barrel. You could get a short or long. Uh, this is just your standard barrel. And nothing special, just from the factory. Everything's just from the factory. Uh, you probably can see right here that there's a, a little depression handle, a snap, and this allows you to adjust the uh, stock according to each individual shooter and uh, I keep it about halfway for myself but uh, a larger person would would have it all the way out and of course a, a shorter person uh, would have it uh, just with shorter arms would uh, have it all the way in so when we have it about like this and of course when we're using it we always keep our finger outside the trigger guard until the range master is given uh, permission to shoot so here's your fire button uh, we'd like to show that we always keep we keep uh, our, our, our chamber, everything is empty here. We just keep it up like that because of the, uh, we don't want to put extra tension on the spring. Notice there's no three round burst or full auto. Right, no, no capabilities like that. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> yeah, they're fun, but uh, not in California. If we go to Nevada, go over to uh, Front Sight, some place like that, well then we can use their weapons and do things differently. There but, you go. Here in California, we have to be uh, extra careful, and that's okay. We're uh, we're legal people. We comply with the law, but uh, we still have our weapons, and we have them for fun. But uh, we also have them for personal safety, excellent, and protection for our families, because you never know. Mike, uh, thank you very much. Yes, sir. It's a very fine weapon, very fine rifle, accurate, and you can use it for varmint shooting and uh, sports shooting, all kinds of, of uses. Yes, wide range of uses, and uh, at the end of the day, it's one of the most deadly weapons in the world in the hands of someone that knows how to use it, and uh, no one will bother you if you have one of these. <laughs> so, that's it. Thank you very much, Mike. Okay, here we go. We're shutting our, our case. You can hear the air. It squeezes the air out. And now this case has wheels, right? Yes, it does. It's uh, wonderful for airports you just get a special permit to carry it there and they inspect it but you see that it has the it squeezes out so it's waterproof and it also uh, squeezes out a lot of the air so you don't have any fantastic. humidity in there fantastic yes it's an anti-humidity case as well this and, uh, this case costs as much as some of our handguns yeah it's exactly right <laughs> yeah this case costs a few hundred dollars it's a pretty pretty good case and then here's the here's the wheel assembly here these are real hard rubber uh, they also have uh, bearings in there so they it'll last a long time very good thank you Mike yes sir